How's it going everyone? Ben here. Today we'll be looking at the debate between meat protein and plant-based protein and whether or not one is more satiable than the other. This video isn't really being made to advocate for a vegan diet or a non-vegan diet. In fact, actually, I really, really, really want you all to look at the Western diet as a whole and how Western diets tend to view the ultimate protein source as meat. However, in Eastern regions of the world, we tend to not just value meat. In addition to that, we also value a lot of plant-based proteins such as dal, which is the term for lentils in the region where I'm from, Southeast Asia, but also things like peas and soybeans. In a small 2016 study where they looked at people consuming high-protein meat-based meals versus high protein plant-based meals versus low protein plant-based meals, they actually came across some pretty significant findings. The meat-based meals were predominantly made of veal and pork and the plant-based meals were predominantly made of peas and beans. At the end of the study, they found out surprisingly that the low protein plant-based meals actually had the same level of fullness as the high protein meat-based meals, which is kind of amazing to me because growing up as someone who was in the fitness industry but also someone who worked out a lot and continues to work out a lot i've always been told to eat a lot of protein specifically meat based proteins because it keeps you full longer so you're able to meet some of your cutting milestones but also meet your protein demands eating lean meats allows you to get in more protein and allows you to stay full longer for those really tough workouts however this study has shown that even a low protein plant-based meal can make you as full as a high protein meat based meal now this doesn't really have much significance in the bodybuilding slash fitness world because we still need that protein intake however if you are in a pinch and you're trying to figure out what kind of meal to have that will last you the longest time and you have the option of a high protein meat based meal that costs more versus a low protein vegetable based meal maybe they might equate out to be the same when we put this into a more global scale we know for the fact to produce as much meat as we have in the world it has a much higher greenhouse gas co2 emission factor than producing vegetables actually it's a factor of 30. however i will say that i am not trying to advocate for a strictly plant-based diet i think there are ethical reasons to also look at plant-based diets and how unethical that can be. This is just a really interesting fact that I want to show you that not everything you hear in the media about fad diets is necessarily true. And that maybe it's a good idea to go out of your comfort zone and try to try new meals, meals that center vegetables. And you'll see that you have the same levels of satiety as you would with a meat-based meal. You also need to take into account that protein sources are very different from where you are getting those protein sources. There are 20 amino acids that the human body uses for our, for our regular physiological function, and not every single ingredient that you use contains those 20 amino acids. Actually, egg whites have the most robust level of amino acids and they don't kind of they, they kind of don't necessarily get it put into the meat versus plant-based category i also want to highlight the fact that this study is not without its flaws the sample size is very small it was predominantly tested in the northern europe region where their primary incentive was to convince people living in northern europe that you don't have to have a predominantly meat-based but diet to have a sense of fullness after you eat and to encourage them to eat more eastern vegetable protein based foods and that's also why i'm making this video i know a lot of americans uh watch my videos and to basically try to push you out of your comfort zone and try uh dishes that actually highlight plant protein more and also a huge reason why people felt more full taking the plant-based protein meals was the fact that there is a high amount of fiber and when you have a lot of fiber in your diet not only do you have better bowel habits, but it's also better for your digestive system. Red meat has been linked to things like stomach cancer and other forms of cancers. So it is really important for you to have a well nutritionally balanced 
profile. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found this video entertaining. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with someone who might benefit from watching it. And please follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I keep you up to date with my daily life and happenings. And I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.